the world's most powerful particle accelerator. The Large Hadron Collider will reopen today after three years of being shut down for improvements. Scientists around the globe are hoping that the upgraded machine, which is massive, will be able to detect new particles and start a physics revolution that could forever change our understanding of the whole universe. At CERN, a seismic shift in our understanding has occurred. A puzzling incident has transpired, leaving the scientific community bewildered. This haven of science, where the limits of established physics are routinely tested, now faces a mystery that challenges all familiar frameworks. It's an occurrence so confounding that it shakes the foundation of our comprehension of the universe. The significance of this finding is substantial, and humanity stands on the brink of a revelation. A scientist working at CERN has revealed the true purpose behind the Colossal Particle Collider at CERN. What happened when scientists tried to open a portal to another universe will leave you astounded. Join us as we delve into the depths of this mystery and reveal what a scientist who worked on a secret project at CERN has revealed. This revelation will leave you in a state of disbelief. The Large Hadron Collider Deep beneath the surface, in a concealed tunnel, lies a marvel of cutting-edge technology that defies imagination, more akin to a scene from a sci-fi film. Picture a device surpassing any other contemporary technology, emitting a low hum and a subtle buzz, transforming the subterranean space into an expansive and captivating scientific arena. Enter the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC at CERN, the epicenter of groundbreaking scientific revelations, this is no ordinary machine. It's an extensive ring spanning 17 miles beneath the Earth's surface, traversing from France to Switzerland. Its primary task? Accelerating minuscule particles to speeds nearly approaching that of light itself. Utilizing the LHC, scientists gain the ability to rewind time, recreating moments shortly after the universe's grandest fireworks display, the Big Bang. However, during the activation of this colossal machine, an unexpected occurrence took place. Detectors observed an increased number of particle collisions at specific energy levels, a perplexing deviation from the standard model of particle physics, our foundational guide to understanding the universe's tiny building blocks. Then came the beauty experiments, concentrating on observing the decay of beauty quarks. The results? Unexpected, suggesting the possibility of an uncharted realm in physics that remains undiscovered. Recall those neutrinos? These elusive particles hardly interact with anything. Yet, at CERN, during the Opera Oscillation Project, something unusual occurred. It seemed like these neutrinos were moving faster than light. This posed a challenge to the established ideas of Albert Einstein. Although later acknowledged as an error, it sparked curiosity. Could there be concealed dimensions in existence? Additionally, the LHC identified Higgs boson particles with more mass than expected. What if these substantial particles are interacting with entities or fields and dimensions beyond our three-dimensional realm? Dr. Edward Mansell's life took an unexpected turn on January 15, 2014, when a routine day at CERN unfolded into a moment of scientific intrigue. The Large Hadron Collider, initially intended to uncover the universe's origins, held a hidden purpose, according to Mansell. Emerging in the 1960s amid efforts to keep UFO phenomena under wraps, the idea of creating a portal to other dimensions gained traction within the scientific community. Despite initial doubts and challenges, CERN scientists gradually started considering the possibility of interacting with other dimensions in the 1980s. This marked a significant shift in perspective, leading to substantial investments to establish a dimensional gateway at CERN. The true purpose of the Collider remained undisclosed, prompting a presentation to world leaders in 1981 and subsequently increased funding for the ambitious project. The pivotal moment occurred in 2014, when a team of scientists, led by Father Sandra O'Reilly, chose to push the limits of the experimentation. Despite objections and operating discreetly, they embarked on an unprecedented journey, elevating the collider to 40 tera electron volts. At this unparalleled energy level, an unexplained phenomena transpired. The control room witnessed a sudden rise in room temperature, accompanied by a dazzling light that engulfed the entire space. Once visibility was restored, Father O'Reilly had disappeared, leaving only her belongings. The remaining scientists stood in astonishment, grappling with the mysterious vanishing act that challenged conventional understanding. 
Dr. Mantle's disclosure challenges the established narrative of CERN's mission, revealing a concerned agenda focusing on interdimensional experimentation. The events of that day prompt questions about the true capabilities of the Large Hadron Collider and the extent of scientific exploration into the realms beyond our conventional understanding. This revelation opens the door to a deeper exploration of the motivations behind CERN's experiments and the potential consequences of breaching the boundaries between dimensions. The scientific community and the public are left to ponder the implications of this clandestine endeavor and the enigmatic disappearance of Father Sandra O'Reilly. Gravity, the enigmatic force responsible for keeping us grounded, remains one of the most intriguing mysteries in the universe. Despite being the weakest force known to us, it harbors a mystery that perplexes scientists. Some speculate that gravity might operate across concealed dimensions that have yet to be explored. The Large Hadron Collider, a colossal machine at CERN, serves as the arena where researchers are pushing the boundaries in an attempt to unveil these enigmas. Consider, if you will, our universe as a multi-layered structure. We inhabit just one layer, perceiving only a fraction of the entirety. The LHC at CERN is akin to a baker endeavoring to discern what lies in the other layers by delicately probing the cake. As particles collide at astonishing speeds within the LHC, it offers a potential glimpse into these alternate layers or dimensions. These dimensions differ from our familiar ones. No straightforward forward, backward, or side-to-side -side movement. They might be incredibly small and coiled up, evading our direct observation. However, collisions at the LHC could briefly reveal glimpses of them. If these dimensions exist, they might harbor other particles. Ever come across Calusa Klein modes? These are speculative particles that scientists believe could emerge from these concealed dimensions. It's akin to observing fish beneath lily pads in a Japanese tea garden. Picture those fish occasionally vanishing beneath the pads into unseen dimensions, influencing the ripples of the water surface. Similarly, when particles collide in the LHC and appear to lose energy, it might be due to interactions with these hidden dimensions. Scientists act like detectives at a crime scene, observing how particles disintegrate and searching for clues that may point to these concealed realms. While solid proof of these extra dimensions at CERN remains elusive, the suggestive hints we've gathered are too intriguing to dismiss. And that's not all. There's also this intriguing thing called quantum entanglement. It's a phenomenon where distant particles mysteriously connect, challenging our understanding of the universe. How can two particles, separated by miles, link up in such an unexplainable way? So while gravity keeps us anchored, the exploration at CERN is reaching new heights, potentially uncovering hidden layers of reality. At the core of CERN, scientists are delving into the mysteries of our universe through quantum entanglement experiments. These experiments aim not only to comprehend peculiar particle behavior, but also to question our perception of reality. Imagine two particles so closely linked that the state of one instantly influences the other, regardless of the distance between them. That's quantum entanglement in action. But why the interest in entanglement? This phenomenon could be a key to revealing more about the fabric of space-time itself and possibly discovering a pathway to another dimension. It's akin to searching for a concealed door in a vast cosmic mansion. By studying how entangled particles communicate, scientists hope to move one step closer to determining whether another dimension truly exists. Now let's introduce another layer to this cosmic puzzle micro black holes. Unlike their colossal counterparts that consume stars and planets, these miniature versions are incredibly small, almost approaching the tiniest unit of the universe. The presence of these tiny black holes could indicate the potential existence of extra dimensions. Some theories, like string theory, even propose that the energy levels at CERN might be suitable for generating these elusive micro black holes. However, there's a caveat. These micro black holes are exceptionally evanescent. They appear briefly and then swiftly vanish due to something known as Hawking radiation. Spotting these transient entities could be groundbreaking, providing substantial evidence that extra dimensions go beyond mere theory. Naturally, the notion of creating black holes, even minuscule ones, may raise concerns. What if they uncontrollably expand? Fortunately, the same Hawking radiation that causes their rapid disappearance also ensures they don't linger to pose any issues. The real fascination lies in the distinctive signals these micro black holes might imprint at CERN. These signals could unveil how particles move around these small black holes, 
a dance that deviates from scientists' expectations based on current knowledge. By observing this cosmic dance and interpreting its patterns, researchers could identify distinctive signs of extra dimensions and the emergence of micro-black holes. While these hypotheses position the LHC as a fertile ground for scientific exploration, caution is warranted. What if this massive machine actually generates a black hole, posing a potential threat to our very existence? Francesco Calogero, a highly regarded nuclear physicist from the University of Rome, pondered this unsettling question. His article, Might a Laboratory Experiment Destroy Planet Earth in 2000, stirred public speculation. This wasn't confined to academic circles. People everywhere questioned if we were on the verge of self-made doomsday. In 2009, the concern reached a wider audience when John Oliver discussed it on The Daily Show. A physicist suggested a 50-50 chance of the LHC experiment creating a powerful black hole that could consume Earth. It seemed like a plot from a bad science fiction movie, but John Oliver, being a responsible host, sought clarity by consulting CERN's top minds. These experts promptly clarified the LHC's primary goal, pure scientific exploration, not planetary peril. Now, as the world grappled with the possibilities of LHC-induced events, another phenomenon, equally perplexing, was gaining attention. Known as the Mandela Effect, it's the peculiar occurrence where large groups remember an event that never occurred. Think of it as collective misremembering on an amplified scale. Consider Fiona Broom's experiment in 2009. She shared a puzzling recollection of Nelson Mandela, the esteemed South African leader, passing away in prison during the 1980s. The catch? Mandela had actually passed away in 2013, not in the 80s. But here's the intriguing part. Broom wasn't alone. Numerous individuals remembered specific details, such as watching news segments on his death or hearing heartfelt words from his grieving widow. These vivid shared memories of a non-existent event left many perplexed. Enter Max Laughlin with a thought-provoking theory. What if we exist in an alternate version of our universe? Could the Mandela effect be a glitch or overlap between these parallel worlds? From the mysteries of the LHC to the Mandela effect, it's evident that our understanding is continually tested. We encounter puzzles, both in our memory and the fabric of the cosmos. While we may not possess all the answers, the journey of unraveling these mysteries is indeed intriguing. So, as the search persists and a direct route to another dimension remains elusive, every experiment and discovery at CERN gradually reveals more offering a clearer view of the vast and wondrous stage that is our universe. The exploration of the universe is akin to solving an extensive cosmic puzzle. At the heart of this pursuit lies CERN, where scientists probe deeply into the most significant questions about the cosmos. Envision a realm beyond our familiar dimensions, holding concealed possibilities. Could these pathways lead to dimensions beyond our current perception? Gravity, space, and time serve as a fundamental framework of the universe. Yet have you ever pondered that they might allude to concealed dimensions beyond our current awareness? Despite the absence of tangible gateways to these hidden realms, certain scientists are dedicated to a mission. They actively strive to unravel these enigmas that have the potential to reshape our comprehension of reality. Familiar with the Higgs boson? Consider it a crucial cosmic entity, playing the role of a particle VIP by imparting mass to others. When scientists at CERN discovered it, it marked a global celebration. However, there's a twist. The Higgs particle might be revealing information about dimensions beyond our perception. Some propose that its behavior could be influenced by particles or fields in these unseen dimensions. Thus, whenever scientists observe the Higgs, they act like investigators, examining its characteristics for clues indicating the existence of these hidden dimensions. Now let's explore the concept of the gravity rainbow. It involves a combination of quantum mechanics and Einstein's general relativity, incorporating the idea of extra dimensions. Certain theories suggest that if particles interact with these hidden dimensions, their gravitational behavior changes, creating a range of effects similar to the colors of a rainbow. Scientists aim to identify indications of these additional dimensions by studying how gravity functions under these unique circumstances. Now consider something even more intriguing, a concept known as supersymmetry. This proposes that each familiar particle has a counterpart, akin to a cosmic twin with distinct characteristics. 
certain scientists posit that exploring these pairs could unravel mysteries in particle physics. What adds to the excitement? Supersymmetry could potentially be linked to concealed dimensions. This idea provides a kind of equilibrium, similar to how an additional dimension might balance out energy scales. But here's where it gets fascinating. At CERN, certain observations have raised eyebrows, suggesting that the consistency of energy and momentum may not always hold, particularly when interacting with these unseen dimensions. Imagine this. During intense particle collisions, energy and momentum might briefly venture into these concealed realms before returning. It's akin to witnessing a sleight of hand where something momentarily vanishes and then reappears. If validated, this could revolutionize our understanding of the fundamental laws of physics. Picture tossing a ball, and halfway through its trajectory, it simply vanishes. This has been a perplexing scenario for scientists at CERN. In their collision experiments, instances arise where energy and momentum seemingly disappear. It's not akin to a magician's illusion, but it does prompt curiosity. Could this hint at realms beyond our current comprehension? Perhaps additional dimensions? Before delving into the realm of science fiction, it's crucial to highlight that these observations don't outright confirm the existence of these concealed realms. Potential explanations include undetected particles or even a basic measurement error. However, here's the intriguing part. These anomalies or missing pieces persistently emerge and curiously align with some pioneering theories. Consider string theory, an intriguing concept proposing that within every particle lies not a mere dot, but a minuscule vibrating string. Similar to the strings on a guitar, these strings vibrate, forming particles instead of producing music. The diverse vibrations lead to the creation of distinct particles. What adds to the fascination is that string theory hints at the existence of extra dimensions, minute, tucked away realms beyond our perception. While these dimensions remain invisible to us, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN holds the potential to offer glimpses into their effects. If these extra dimensions exist, they might influence particle behavior, unveil new particles, or even modify the recognized forces of nature. Through a meticulous examination of collision data from the LHC, scientists actively search for indications aligning with string theory's predictions. Think of it as an exploratory quest in the cosmos, where the reward could be the revelation of string excitations or novel particles linked to these tiny vibrating strings. Yet, the fascination goes beyond. The concept of the many worlds interpretation adds another layer to the narrative. Consider this. Whenever a quantum event occurs, the universe could potentially diverge into distinct branches. So with each measurement, a new parallel universe might come into existence, each slightly varying from the previous. Now, if this sounds like something from a science fiction tale, you're not far off. But the idea carries substantial implications. These parallel worlds might host different particles, forces, and perhaps even imperceptible dimensions. What if, in one universe, gravity behaves a bit differently? Or if there's a novel force we've yet to encounter? The MWI also offers a fresh perspective on particles. In this interpretation, particles aren't confined to a single trajectory. They exist in multiple states, potentially extending across additional dimensions, and brushing against parallel universes. Scientists at CERN are eager to investigate this. They function as cosmic detectives, analyzing evidence to determine if these extra dimensions genuinely appear as branches in a multiverse. However, a note of caution, the MWI, though intriguing, is still under rigorous examination. It's an emerging idea, not a definitive conclusion. Nevertheless, the significance lies in the exploration. It encourages us to maintain open minds, delving into the vast realm of possibilities in the cosmos. The quest for understanding, whether it's the missing energy, vibrating strings, or potential parallel universes, unveils a universe more expansive and enigmatic than we previously conceived. The exploration persists, with each discovery and hint fueling the flame of curiosity. The tools utilized at CERN, renowned for exploring minuscule particles, also have unexpected applications. Were you aware that the PET scans employed by doctors to detect cancers originated from these very tools? It's akin to one discovery unlocking the door to another, bringing about transformative changes in lives. CERN generously shares its knowledge, opting not to keep it a secret. 
they act as a guiding beacon, illuminating the path for others. Their approach involves open-ended research, venturing into the unknown instead of adhering to the familiar. If everyone solely focused on enhancing candles, we might have missed out on the invention of electric lights, wouldn't we? Now here's a surprising fact. Have you ever surfed the web? The World Wide Web, where we engage in video watching, chatting, and sharing, had its roots at CERN. In 1989, the ingenious mind of Tim Berners-Lee conceived it, enabling scientists worldwide to exchange data. Just envision life without online shopping or memes. Fortunately, CERN ensured that we didn't miss out. Every time you click a link or read about a life-saving PET scan, think of CERN. It operates like a practical workshop, transforming dreams into tangible realities and reshaping our world. Reflect on the myriad wonders they might unveil next. One of these numerous potentially hazardous yet intriguing wonders could involve the production of strangelets. Strangelets are theoretical particles composed of an equal number of up, down, and strange quarks. The potential generation of strangelets at the Large Hadron Collider is based on the high-energy collisions involving heavy ions, particularly lead ions, within the LHC. The main process for potential strangelet creation at the LHC revolves around the collision of these heavy ions at extremely elevated energies. Upon collision, they generate a quark-gluon plasma, an unusual state of matter where quarks and gluons, typically confined within protons and neutrons, can move freely. In this intense setting, the hypothesis suggests that the right combination of quarks could assemble and give rise to strangelets. The LHC has the ability to accelerate not only protons, but also heavier ions such as lead ions. The ALICE detector at the LHC is specifically designed to investigate collisions involving heavy ions, a crucial aspect for any potential strangelet production. Furthermore, the LHC is equipped with advanced detectors like ALICE, ATLAS, and CMS, capable of tracking and identifying the diverse particles generated during collisions. These detectors play a vital role in recognizing signals that could indicate strangelet production. The exploration of quark-gluon plasma is integral to understanding strangelet production, emphasizing the importance of technology and instruments for detecting, measuring, and analyzing this state of matter. High-speed data acquisition systems, particle identification technologies, and calorimeters are among the essential technologies involved. Given the substantial amount of data generated by LHC experiments, powerful computational tools become essential. These tools analyze and sift through collision data to search for anomalies or rare events, such as the potential creation of strangelets. Although the production of strangelets remains speculative, experiments at the LHC and other particle accelerators have yet to confirm their existence. Nevertheless, the advanced technologies available at CERN position it as one of the few places on Earth where such groundbreaking discoveries might take place. Thank you for being with us. We would love your thoughts on this topic. And if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more content.